Now, if you've got a spare million quid burning a hole in your pocket, you may be interested in buying Britney's hair. Layla, my co-host, came up to me the other day. She said, Simon, I have a big problem with nasal hair. You want to choose your trimmer. The office scissors. Never a good idea. Now, I didn't mind when they banned smoking in offices, but this, no more naughty little emails, no more sexual innuendos with Barbara, the 40-year-old mother of two, and accounts. This is possibly a little too extreme. Anything you got you want to send in, win an award, do it. <laughs> oh, he looks great, doesn't he? Today, however, the Frisbee takes on a whole new meaning. Only the best player on every team gets to wear a green jersey. What can I say? Thank you very much. OK, I'm ready. Be the disc. Be the disc. Can you move your handle? Yeah. Okay. Mm. <sighs> And then, of course, the Barry Manilow effect. I get the short straw yet again. Yet again! Do you think you can take this challenge? <sighs> My cardiovascular system is doing overtime, but I am going to conquer this bush. Is the cone. Now, are Londoners ready for such an item? Looks like it's gonna take off, but I don't think it will. The great race is here. Covent Garden. It's the annual great Christmas pudding race. I think he's ready. No cheating. Right, here we go. On your marks, get set, go! I have with me now All Angels. Girls, thank you very much for joining Your Kind of TV. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So how about, it's a little bit of a, uh, they don't know about this. How about we, we dump Simon Cow, all right, dump all the record producers, go on our own, okay? Four angels and one horny little devil, what do you reckon? I can hold you to that? Yeah. Who goes straight to number one? Excellent. E.T. will be tuning in next week, probably. That's all from us, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. You take care.